Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Tyler and today we're talking about the basics of the Elementor WordPress plugin. The Elementor WordPress plugin is just a drag and drop builder for WordPress that allows you to create web pages and websites very easily. So I'm super excited to talk about this today. I've been using Elementor for a long time now, um, close to, I don't know, probably a few years now. And uh, I just recently upgraded to the Elementor Pro plugin. Um, they have very reasonable pricing. If at any time you're interested in upgrading during this video, be sure and check the link down below in the description to see what price you can get for that plugin. And uh, it's just, it's awesome. If you really want to just upgrade your website and just really bring some style and pop to it, it's a great option. But let's go ahead and jump into this video all about Elementor, the WordPress page builder. All right, guys, so for this video, I'm going to assume that you have set up your web host. If you're looking currently for a web host, I have a link down below in the description to what I have found is just the very best web host. And I truly believe in this company. I'm super happy with their service. And they are just so fast at hosting my site. Um, they have server-side caching as well as solid-state drives, which is just nerd talk for a very fast web host. But if you've already set it up, we have a web host. You have your domain name. We'll assume that you have your website set up. We'll need to have WordPress installed, and then we'll just go over to the WordPress plugins and add Elementor and activate it. So once you get to that point, let's go ahead and jump into building out a web page with Elementor. All right, guys, so all we're going to do is right over here, we're going to go over to pages and we're going to hit add new page. And this will most likely be the first page that you're building. So I'm super excited to help you and just show you how easy this is. So this is the WordPress editor we have where you can add a title here. You can go ahead and type in a piece of content right there. Um, all I'm going to do is simply add a title and I'm going to name this my first page. And then we're just going to simply click up here and edit with Elementor. And that's going to go ahead and save that title and then open up the Elementor editor. And this is where we're going to do all of our page building. So this is probably what you're going to see or something similar to this. This is my custom header up here. Um, you might have a title, you may, might not depending on your theme. And your footer may be a little bit different or uh, this may not exist at all. But you will see something like this or very similar to this depending on which version of Elementor you're using and Simply this is this is it. This is how you edit and create your website So this little plus button right here will let you select how many columns you'd like to start with for your first block and um, So we'll just go ahead and start with two for this example here and then once you're over here These are all the options to edit these columns if you need to and if you'd like to resize them, you just hover over and drag and slide and resize them. So it's just that simple as far as editing the columns in Elementor. Um, to get back to the main dashboard here, we're just going to hit menu and then hit back. And that will get us to any of the dashboards where all the elements reside that we can drag and drop in. So before we drop anything in, I do want to just say that up here, if you hit menu and then go to default colors, you can set up right here all of your colors, your brand colors, so that any of the elements that you're dragging and dropping in will automatically conform to these standards set here. These are global settings, so they will apply to the entire website, not just this page. And this will apply to any element that has not been edited um, individually so if it's just left to the defaults you drag and drop and leave it to the defaults it will default to this color scheme if you hit menu and hit back or, or just go hit menu again you can set up your default fonts for those elements as well and then if you hit theme styles you can set up even like the sizes of the different fonts and everything like that that's a little bit more nitty-gritty but if you'd like to set all, all these global settings up beforehand so you can just simply drag and drop stuff, it might be a little bit easier for you. All right, so to drag in a heading, you just simply click and hold and drag it right in. And you'll see a little blue bar come up. That little blue solid bar is where you're going to drop it. You let go and just like that, it is in there. Now you have the option to edit right from here. You can just simply click and backspace or type right in. Or you can go over here and you can highlight and select this also takes HTML code, I've noticed. So you can go ahead and paste HTML code right in there. If you do want to know, they have a, their own HTML code block down here. Right here, you can drag in and 
your own HTML code block. But this um, title and these text paragraphs do take HTML code. So let's go ahead and just say hello world for our very first, very first title there. If you need to link anything out, you can go ahead and put your link in right there. Um, as far as styling goes, we'll click the style tab and you can change the color right here. You can just simply select a color or paste in a hex code right there. For typography, we'll just go ahead and hit edit and you can change the font right here. It's defaulting to the one that I have in my global settings, but we'll go ahead and just set it to, uh, let's see what we, how about some acne right there. Okay, and then it's also defaulting, my transform is set to all caps in my global settings, so we'll default it to just lowercase, let's say, hello world, just like that, or we can default it to uppercase, which will be all caps there. Let's just do normal, which is just a standard, um, just first letter capital there. And then if we want to change, let's see, what else can we change in here? We have line height, we have size. Now notice the size is going to be dependent on the size of the screen that they're viewing it on, depending on their pixels that they're viewing on their monitor or on their phone. So just keep that in mind. This is a little bit more advanced, but a good way to check this is just kind of eyeball it wherever you think, okay, I think about, you know, right around maybe 50. You can go over here and edit just by clicking the up and down arrows. About 50 is good. And then we'll go ahead and click right down here, responsive mode. And we can click if we'd like to view that on a tablet. Okay, so that's what it looks like on a tablet or mobile. Okay, that's what it looks like on mobile. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll go into desktop and we'll just go back to what we were at. So one thing I noticed is I actually want this centered. So let's go back over to content and right here we can go to alignment and center it. And that's how you center things, just that easy. I think we're pretty much wrapped up with the title. Let's go back and hit menu and back and go in and drag in an image. Let's drag in an image right here and I'm gonna go ahead and select an image. All right, so this is an image, actually a thumbnail from one of my videos about Elementor. So if you haven't checked out my other videos about Elementor, I highly recommend you do, but this is a great starter video for you. So again, we can align the, the image. Um, if we need to resize it, let's say that's too big right there, we need it smaller. All it's doing right there is filling the space that it's allotted in this column, but let's go ahead and give it a specific width. Let's say we need it a 200 width. We'll go over here, this is set to percent, we can click pixels right here, and then we'll set it at 200 right there. Perfect, that's the size we need it right there. And if we not wanna change the border, we can add a border there. Let's say we want to you know, set a solid or double or dash. You know, we can set a border right there. If we wanna add a border radius, now this is gonna be the curvature around the corners of the actual image. We can push that up, you can see now it's being curved right there. So if we push it all the way up, you can see it kind of makes this like kind of ovally shape like that. To get rid of any numbers or anything that you've put in, you simply just highlight it and backspace it and just highlight and backspace. And there we go. And that's about it as far as a uh, photo. There's a lot you can do here. Um, I won't get in too in depth, but if you need to link the photo, you can just simply click right here and link if you select media file when they click on it it'll actually show them the image like in a little preview mode if you put custom URL it'll actually redirect them to a different URL so that's pretty much how we set up a title and a photo we'll hit menu and hit back one more time um, what else should we do let's see uh, these are some basics just some quick basics here if you need to space things out a little more, I like this spacer thing, this spacer element. It allows you to kind of just space things very easily. So that just put a space in between the title and the image, and I can adjust the space just like this with this slider. And then if you need to hide that, let's say that that, that spacing works great on desktop, but it doesn't work great on mobile. This is a little bit more advanced, but you just simply go to advanced, you go to responsive and you click hide on desktop or hide on mobile. Whichever one, let's say you need it on desktop but not on mobile, I would just hide on mobile. And that would that little element right there would completely vanish when you look at it on mobile. So I really like that. Um, that allows me to you know be a little bit more specific when I'm designing for desktop versus mobile um, or vi visa, vice versa. 
Um, let's go ahead and drag in a button, just show you what the buttons are very simply. Right here, um, same thing, we can select our alignment, we'll put it center right there, and then we can drag and drop, or I'm sorry, we'll just paste in our link right here if we want it to redirect somewhere. Um, and then right here we can select the text, so let's just say, um, get your Elementor plugin. Um, we can just simply put it like that, and then if we need an icon, we can go ahead and click this. And this may be an Elementor Pro um, feature, this library right here. It might only come up with a drop down for you guys if you're on the free version. But simply just search for the logo or the icon that you want, and then click Insert, and then it will add it right here to the left. Right there, it says before, or you can switch it to the right, it'll be after. I'm going to leave it at before there. And as you guys can see, this is just so simple and we're building this so easily. So uh, let's drag in a video and we'll end it here. Um, you can see that little blue um, solid area is where I'm going to drop it. So let's drop it below the button here. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and just paste in a YouTube video just like that. And that's how we embed. We can paste in it the Mayo, Daily Motion, or Self Hosted would be something on your website. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can set a start time and end time. Um, here are all your player controls if you want to, you know, autoplay the video or mute it or loop it or, you know, modest branding would hide YouTube's brand, most of YouTube's branding. Um, player controls allows the um, user to be able to pause and play it or, or turn the volume up or change the settings of, of what pixel ratio it's, it's displaying the video in. Just simple controls that every user has on a YouTube video. Um, image overlay is going to be like if you want to set a custom thumbnail so I can go ahead and show you that you click show here and then I'm going to go ahead and select my video or my image right here excuse me alright so I've selected my image there and just like that it overlays just like that with a little play button so when people click on it it starts the actual video behind it just a nice little feature you can go ahead and hide that um, style as well, you're going to have just similar controls here, the size of the actual video or the actual player. Um, if you need to change any kind of CSS filters like the, uh, you know, the blur, the, like the blur of the actual video, the brightness, the darkness, the contrast, like um, if you want to like add like this weird hue to it so the like colors are off and stuff. I mean there's so much you can do and, and alter with that if you need to do it but you probably won't need to um, and then same thing again responsive down here we can just hide things on mobile just like that and when we switch over to our mobile view you'll see that is completely gone um, I just want to wrap up by showing you one last thing that may help you is just simply hover over an elements little edit button and you can click and drag it anywhere else so let's go ahead and let me switch back to desktop view here and drag it over here and there we have two columns now and they are side by side there and when we switch to mobile they lay like that um, if you need to move columns so let's just go ahead and add a new column here and drag maybe let's see the button in here perfect if you need to rearrange columns you simply just hover over these like six dots here and you just drag and drop it above or below just like that and that's that's it. That's how you build your website. So I really hope this has helped you guys. If you guys are interested in Elementor Pro down below, the link is in the description. You can check it out. It's an awesome, awesome plugin just to show you guys what's in there. All of these different um, elements are in there. Forms, logins, um, price tables, animated headlines. It like actually pops up with a little circle around a headline and animates things. Uh, call to actions, testimonial carousel. There's a ton in there, so be sure and check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and that like button. I would really appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.